But let me explain to you the x-ray since I said I will explain. You see, x-rays, uh, although we, I always say take photo, actually it's not really a photo. But it, I, I always think of it as a photo because of the film. Do you need to understand x-rays? X-rays are radioactive. They are... The properties of x-rays are similar to gamma rays, but it's a lower energy level. Do you remember why when we talk about radioactive radiation, we don't include x-rays? You notice this whole chapter, we only talk about alpha, beta, gamma, but we never talk about x-rays. But you must remember, think about it. Hey, x-ray also is radioactive. Well, how come we never talk about x-rays? Do you know why? Oh, x-rays are very are used very very often x-rays in fact is one of the most commonly used radioactive radiation compared to alpha beta and gamma extra information for you all are huh? not in your syllabus but now you can but now you got this information you can go and tell everyone like your pandai like that <laughs> it's because alpha beta gamma these all these three right come from where? They come from radioisotope. So we know what's radioisotope, right? <laughs> Cheaper than CT scan also. X-ray boring. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha, beta, gamma all come from radioisotopes. So that's why when we learn things like sodium-24, cobalt-60, carbon-14, all these are radioisotopes. All of these are releasing radioactive radiation in the form of alpha, beta, and gamma only. Radioisotopes do not release x-rays. Okay? Radioisotope, you want to talk, oh, release x-rays? No. No. They don't. So where do x-rays come from? X-rays are quite unique. X-rays are where they come from. There are a few ways. I only know of two ways. One way is where they shoot electrons to metal. Um, so you remember the oscilloscope? No, you don't know the oscilloscope. You remember the electron gun in um, electronics chapter... Chapter 4, chapter 4, if you shoot the electrons, right, in th through thermionic emission, you shoot the electron at very high speed, instead of shooting towards the, it's chapter 5, uh. oh, sorry, chapter 5, oh yeah, this is chapter 6, <laughs> I got confused with the chapter numbers, <laughs> yeah, uh, one thing that I didn't mention, because it's not in your syllabus, right, uh, is this, you see, when the electrons, you shoot at very high speed, when you hit the, when the electrons reach the fluorescent screen, uh, when you hit the fluorescent screen, the energy is converted to light energy. That's why you see the spot, the green color, the green, the green color light. But also got one percent X-ray, one percent X-ray. Why? Because anytime electrons hit a metal target, anytime it hits a metal surface, it will produce X-rays. So in in those kind of old style. Um, electron gun, cathode, cathode ray tube and all that, right? Um, they use a metal that has less x-ray. But in the hospitals and all that where they have the x-ray machine, they use a different kind of metal. I can't remember the metal name because I haven't touched this for so long. The, they, use, they use the metal, right, where when the electron hits the metal surface, it releases x-rays. It's a higher percentage. The high percentage maybe is about 3 to 5% x-ray. So it's very different. Huh? This kind of machine got no radioactive material inside. It's just electron gun and a metal. Then you switch on, the electron come out, but ah, it produces the x-rays. So that's why for these kind of machines, right, um, it's, it's very different because there's no radioactive material. And then if anything spoiled, the machine is spoiled, uh, they throw away, they throw away like normal. Because, hey, 
X-ray radioactive for yeah, but if the machine is spoiled, the electron cannot be released. No X-rays, lo. So that's the, the special thing about X-rays. Another way to create X-rays, and uh, this one they discovered this many, many, many years ago. You know, cellophane tape. Cellophane tape. You take the cellophane tape and you pull fast enough, uh, it actually produces x-rays. If you don't believe me, you go and Google. It's in the news. It's very old, very, 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 very old news. <laughs> you, take, you take the cellophane tape, you pull fast enough, uh, it produces x-rays. But very, very little. It's not enough to harm anybody. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, you go and Google and see if you don't believe me. So that's the unique thing about x-rays. Okay. So that's why you don't learn about X-rays in this chapter because X-rays don't come from radioisotope. X-rays come from other methods. There's other methods of producing X-rays. So how do X-rays work? X-rays, like gamma rays, can penetrate through a lot of things. It has high penetration power, but it gets stopped by dense material. So that so lead is one of the things that can stop X, um, stop this kind of uh, radiation. But another thing that can stop it, bones, because bones are denser so what how it works is this if this is the x-ray machine that's releasing the x-rays so if the you want to take uh you want to observe the bones inside they have to they put a person in front here stand in front at the back of the person right there is oh my god my drawing is so bad draw a square here okay here that here then where they put they put a they put a piece of film over here. Photographic film. So you remember um, in the objective question, we saw photographic film. Remember I told you photographic film, right? When, when the radioactive radiation reached the film, it interacts with the same way as light. So that means the more radioactive radiation, the darker the color is. So what happens is the x-rays will penetrate the human body and go through to the film. Now, all the soft tissues and the organs and the muscles, the x-ray can just pass through. It's not stopped. But if there's bone, the bone blocks the x-rays. So that's why when you look at, when you see the film, right, how come you can see the bones and all that? Like, let's say this is the, 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 the hand bone, okay? The, the hand, uh, the hand. Okay? And then the shoulder is here and all that. So why you can see this? Because the bones in the, the, the body stops the x-ray. Where there's muscle and tissue and organs, the x-ray just go through, it reaches the, the film, then it turns it black. But where there's bone, the bone stops the x-ray, the x-ray can't go through, that's why you see it as white in color. Because the original film is white in color. That's how x-rays work. So that's why we say it's like taking photo. It's actually not really photo la. But it's some. But we call it photo because of the film. You cannot feel it also, la. You think actually before you know, got no feeling, one. <laughs> All right. So that's how X-rays work, la. So it's something like a scanner, la, because the film is detecting the X-ray. But it's not really a scanner, la. But it. But it's the same concept. It is detecting the X-ray. Just that the detection is how it turns black color in the film. Okay. Any questions? Because, you know how film works or not? Film, right, is covered with silver bromide. When silver bromide is exposed to light, it turns dark. So, so it also works the same way with radioactive radiation. When radioactive radiation is, uh, is, uh, interacts with it, it turns darker color. That's why, in this case, it turns black. Look. It's a chemical reaction. So even if you take uh, the old negative, ask your parents uh, for the old negative photos. You look, uh, you see, eh, black, black color one, right? Actually, that's because more the brighter the light, the blacker the color. Same thing with radiation. The higher the radiation, the blacker the color. It's a, it's a chemical reaction, actually. Okay, anyway, this is extra information. You don't really need to know this, but I think uh, now you can pretend to, to like, oh, okay, I know all about x-rays. You go and tell all your family and friends. I know how x-rays work now. <laughs>